crashed the internet. It's Captain Mint Beard back with more of the Outer Worlds. So we're outside in this house. We picked the door to get into. And uh, just kind of poking around, making our way towards story progress. As you can see, it's always worth your while to poke around. You always can find good stuff. Well, maybe always is an exaggeration, but typically you can find some good stuff. We got a few different quests going at once. We got to go deliver that message. And so like, hey, you know, ultimatum. Are you guys getting out or are you, you or are you or what? What are we doing? Oh, hello. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Excellent. We're also looking for the Vicar's book. Gyrosite. Hunting rifle? Oh. A ring? Hmm. Let's look at that hunting rifle real quick. Oh my goodness. A plasma rifle. A hunting rifle. Comes with extendo sight. All right. Um, so DPS isn't everything. If I recall, these also have this also has the the ability to uh, be charged up. I think that, or that's a different plasma weapon. All right, so let's go ahead and equip you instead of the pistol. I'm gonna give that a run for it. So give that a whirl. Hunting rifle. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip that as well. Let's replace the big shocky. And you know, let's give. Let's give. Uh, why don't we give? Give something for Parvati, like maybe uh, give her the the, the bolter pistol. Maybe. Or if I don't like it, keep the pistol and give her the plasma rifle. Yeah, let's give let's give uh, let's give the plasma rifle a, a whirl right fast. So maybe Jovens can charge up for a bigger attack. Hmm. See, that's what I was talking about. So that one does have a charging ability. Okay. Well, I don't need both the hunting rifle and well, I guess this is like a tactical assault rifle, then, in that case. Okay, alright, let's, uh, I don't know why I'm still holding that, even though I no longer have it equipped. But, that's okay. Uh, oh, Codex, that's right, there's a basic Codex. The, 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 the words, I promise I can talk a bunch of Codex things. All right, so instead of light pistola, when did I pick that up? Huh. Well, I don't want her doing only electricity because that would suck. But we are about to we are dealing with primarily robots, so that's fine. She can have that. She can have the big shocky, and she can actually 
for non shocky, I guess she can do. The, maybe she can do the trip blade as her non shockity. Well, it's fine. She can just be double shock. Double shocky. All right. Now we have a real gun. All right, so that's the geothermal plant, which we don't want to go until after we talk to people. I mean, we can. We can be like, you know what? Screw you, kick rocks. Inside voices. All right, actually, let's use for this situation. I see you. I see you, Kirk. Do you see me? We go. All right. And that is how it's done. Look around outside for stuff. Then we'll loot the bodies. Huh. Oh. Nope, jump up there. I want to see if there's anything on the top. I guess there's not. Okay. Because as you saw before, looking around the outside of the buildings really, really paid off the last time I did it. So that's why I am keen to look around. None of these buildings can be entered, which is okay. Okay. That looks like a camp of theirs over there. Another assault rifle, alright. Who will? Yeah, this looks like a marauder camp. Looks like they're making their own salt tuna. I mean, because we we pretty much established by what Parvati has said and by what we saw in the factory that you know they're not putting salt tuna in the salt tuna cans. They're cooking those little sprats. Which I can only assume is short for space rat. I don't want to get too far off course though. It's all well and good to explore, but we still have like quests and shit to do here. And there is a hostile right up there. Is that all from P? Not quite. That's the last of them. And Parvati got the last one you the last one you didn't even know was there. The other two assholes you didn't even know were there. Yes, yes, all the roads. All quotes lead to Jurassic Park. Okay. So I'm assuming there's going to be more inside. If there's a few outside, probably a few inside. I just think that's a safe, safe assumption, don't you? Until proven otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please. 
all the mag picks. I can't wait until I can actually buy them. I hate that. It, ooh, nice. A grenade launcher? Oh my goodness. You shouldn't have. For me. For little old me. It's a grenade launcher. Okay. Uh, I'm not too keen on the hunting rifle at the moment. Because I've got this the tactical assault rifle thing going right now. Useful at multiple ranges. Plus, I think this character is actually, truthfully, more of a handguns guy. Plain and pure water. How do you have dehydrated water tablets? See, this game it just, just has a great sense of humor. It's like, it's kind of like, subtle. A little bit. Oh man, my lockpick's not high enough and I don't have any picks. How far am I from leveling up anyway? A decent amount. Crud. Uh, hopefully that will be rectified soon. Uh, that looks like it goes anywhere. Yeah, well. Ain't the end of the world. Oh, hello, buddy. There's no one here. What are you talking about? Incoming. Come on out. I feel stupid. I didn't even see that guy coming. Okay. Oh, wow. Did not see him at all. I was just so busy looking at little loot containers. I did not even see it. Okay, nothing back here. Nothing back here. Here's this community center. Let me check the... Uh... The... Uh... Book thing. Is it in there? No, it's actually not. It's actually way over there. Man, that's irritating. Okay, well, well, we'll get it eventually then. I mean, I guess we could... Could... Try to go in the community center. But, I also feel like there's gonna be a ton of dudes in there. Oh, whoops, that's right, I forgot. Let's see, I've got, oh, oh, there we go. Now we're looking spiff. Let's see, she's got some overalls at Armor 7. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, da, da, da. Let's 
This isn't, I'm trying to find. Show player helmet, yes. Do not show companion helmets, I guess. At least not till we get some better looking ones. Okay. So, do we want to do it? I want to try to see if. Uh, that's interesting. If there's an alternate entrance, perhaps? Yeah, let's switch to something with more ammunition. Oh! You are encumbered. Okay. Oh, all right. So Parvati, can I get you to carry some stuff for me? Something you need? I guess we'll. I guess not. Crap. All right. Um. Okay. So I'm over by ten. Armor four. Weight is two point five. Weight is two point five. I've got all these weapons now. Uh, wait three, wait three, wait three, wait one and a half, seriously? Why is this stuff so light? Okay. Alright, well let's start. Start with this. Uh... Break down, yes. Just break it on down, yes. Break it on down, break it on down. Break it on down, break it on down. There we go. We're slightly not over encumbered anymore, but we've got way too much crap. So we've either got to put it away or sell it. And I see more. See another one. So someone doesn't want us back here. That's what I am gathering from this. Come on. At least the mines have, have little glowy bits and are yellow on top, so they're easy to see. We got here another grenade launcher, mag pick. This is probably going to put us over again. Sick, man. I either got to put some of this stuff away or sell it. So I don't necessarily think it's gonna think it's necessarily gonna be a great idea to go ahead and try to go in a a, a, a mini dungeon. But we can look around outside. Because we we'll unlock the fast travel point, you know, just look around. Maybe find mag picks or something that doesn't have weight real fast. Arduino, two bit cartridges, those don't count against my carry weight. I don't think armor parts counts against my carry weight. Okay. So I gotta do something with these. Okay, uh we can fast travel back here at any point. So Vending machine in Edgewater. Uh, there's a landing pad. There's a workbench there. Stuff, whatever. Yeah, let's just go back to Edgewater. So I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
I'm sure there's a general store in town too. Cantina. No, I'm not sorry. I see you. You guys have a general store or something? I mean, holy crap. Uh, maybe if I run quickly, I'll find it. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Wilson. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. This uh, is this that's the saloon, general store. Here we are. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, got my eye on you, girl. Uh huh. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. What little incident? I'll take responsibility for her. See that you do. I got a business to run. Edgewater ain't gonna provision itself, you know. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Let me see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Origin skills equal half your dialogue used to negotiate prices. Maxwell, that's a unique weapon. Okay. Impact hammer. I want to sell, please. What do I want to sell? How many drugs? Oh, so that reminds me of kind of a funny story. So the last time I played Fallout 4, I uh, made my way through the wasteland by mean harmful status effects I guess All right. so because it's actually very cheap and easy to make I pretty much made my way oh that's a diamond one made my way through the game selling jet yeah pretty easy Pretty cool. I not well, not cool, but uh, sell this hunting rifle. I'm not really big on it. Maybe we can. We can I can't even put a muzzle on that. Like, what's what's the point? Alright, it says a diamond assault rifle, so I'm gonna keep that. Grenade launcher. Kind of feel bad selling it, but I know I'm gonna get more. And I've actually got a good number of mods. Oh my goodness. A thug kit. Why is it a diamond thug kit? Silver tongue kit. Oh, silver tongue kit I definitely want. Again, once I have armor, that's not crap. Uh, okay, junk. Sell all junk. Nice. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Mm -hmm. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Okay. I have some questions. Go right ahead. Uh... 
It's something about this plague. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Oh, nice. Is there a reason you feel like you have to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but mm. the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. What do you mean by that? Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature. It's company policy. <laughs> wow. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Mm -mm -mm. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk mm -mm -mm. about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. All right, I'll uh, leave you to your devices, I guess. All right, and this is a, is a good place I need to take us a quick little break. So this has been The Outer Worlds. I'm Captain My Beard. I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. So stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask. Thanks so much, and peace out.